What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and I'm extremely excited to present to you my graphics in Revit course. Now this is a four hour Revit graphics course that I have been working on for the last month. Now I'm really excited to, to announce this because I think it was really important to create something that kind of has a unified approach talking about the different levels of graphics in Revit, setting up the graphics on a just on a software level, then on a whole program level or a project level, then moving on to a view uh, view based level, so setting up the graphics just of uh, individual views, and then uh, just all of the individual components and all of the little tools and features along the way that are really important when it comes to making your Revit projects look exactly how you want them to look. This is a notoriously difficult uh, subject and when it comes to Revit a lot of people have kind of went back to AutoCAD just because they don't know how to set up the graphics right because at the end of the day uh, if you're not uh, representing something the way it should be represented uh, it doesn't make sense to make it in the first place. So uh, when it comes to Revit in a lot of cases people get the, the, the hang of it, get the general idea of how to use the software but when it comes to fine-tuning and adjusting the graphics and the appearance of all of the little things well that's that that's when the, the, everything goes wrong and they can't get the actual presentation that they want so uh, in this course that's what I'm going to be talking all about now uh, for this course it's available and you can find all of the information about it uh, just follow the links in the description of this video you can get access to the full course as well as all of the uh, project files of course not only that course but all of my uh, advanced Revit courses. I've got over 50 hours of content so far. Uh, now I'm going to create this kind of quick demonstration of what this course goes through and uh, that's what this video is going to be all about and of course if you want to get the course well first link in the description. Okay so without any further ado let's explore this course. Let's go! So here we are in Revit and to get started the first thing that I'm going to be showing you off is going to be the general program settings. So when I say general program settings, th so those are the settings that are going to affect your Revit program. So no matter which project you open up, these settings will affect your project. Now uh, I show you how to set up some of the settings that are related to graphics and the speed of your computer so your graphics don't slow your computer down or if you have some lag time how can you improve that by kind of dialing back the, the graphics as far as just presentation while you work. Uh, moving on after that I show you how to set up some of the main colors that Revit uses as representation so for example this white background how can you change that color and also some of the additional colors that Revit uses for example you know those alerts that Revit gives you when you gonna set something up wrong for example if I just move this door over here uh, now as you can see everything lights up in red and usually by default it tends to light up in orange so this is just one of those settings that they've changed when it comes to to a general program graphics. Also uh, here in uh, as far as program graphics uh, I show you uh, just how to set up the temporary dimension lines so those are these uh, dimension lines over here that gonna pop up if you select an element uh, you can see these temporary dimension lines pop up and I show you how to change the size uh, the size of these uh, dimensions so they are uh, a bit easier to read. Uh, moving on from those project or from those general program settings we move to project settings. So these are project graphics settings that are going to affect the exact project that you have currently opened up. Mostly this has a lot to do with the uh, manage tab and the object styles menu on that manage tab. I show you how this uh, how this uh, actually works and I not only explain how to make some uh, basic changes but I actually go in depth expand all these menu and explain how subcategories affect uh, the presentation of your families here in Revit. I show you both on some system families as well as some uh, just some component families that we have over here. One of the cool things that I show you is how can you actually affect the individual line work or the individual lines uh, within your walls. So all of the wall layers, how can you change the color and thickness of those lines or maybe make the inside of the wall uh, a 
kind of grayscale or something like that so I show that off also when it comes to these general settings I show you how to set up each uh, line that Revit has so for example if you go here to annotate and we go to detail lines we have some options over here I show you how to affect these options and then I explain in depth how Revit looks at uh, line thicknesses, how are these related to scale, and so on and so forth. So there is a detailed explanation that goes uh, in depth as far as these lines are concerned. Also, when it comes comes to these general settings I show you the materials uh, browser and how graphics in the material browser uh, are represented what do they represent and how do they affect the project in different visual styles so if you're in hidden line or shaded or realistic so on and so forth how will Revit uh, represent that so that's what we explore for some of the uh, project based settings then we move on to the uh, view graphics so for example here we have this view uh, most of the settings can be changed by the visibility graphics override so this is something that I explore in depth how does this menu work how can you make some changes how to use uh, override host layers and how to cut line styles so this is really important and it's really exciting it has a lot to do with those wall layers so that's something that I show you how to use and I show you how to uh, use this menu uh, in depth so uh, how to use each of these and especially filters which are a very cool way to um, to highlight some uh, exact elements it's a great way of kind of analyzing and scanning your project so you can highlight the things that you want to be highlighted so that's something that's really exciting that I show you in depth how to use uh, moving on I also show you how to kind of troubleshoot some of your uh, view problems so this uh, has a lot to do with your underlay settings as well as view range settings and depth clipping so I go in depth into these and as you can see over here I explain in depth how to these work how do uh, different elements appear uh, in your view range as far as the clip uh, cut plane is concerned the top plane the bottom one and the view range so I go in depth into that explanation and uh, uh, explain pretty much everything that you need to know also I show you all of the fine and detailed settings that are related to other graphics elements like uh, tags, text, arrowheads, halftone settings, things like that. Not only how do you use them but in depth understanding how Revit views these elements in these settings and how will they affect your project so you know how to make the best uh, possible decision for achieving the graphics that you want to see. Also I show you on a uh, project how to kind of uh, bring everything together both on family graphics so how to set up a uh, single family so it uh, shows exactly how you want it to show so for example here we have this uh, window and uh, here we've changed these dashed lines things like that how can you affect a family project and then also I show you all of the uh, these uh, graphic display options uh, how to use each of these and just understanding how these uh, each of these work and how do they affect your project and the graphics and the visu uh, visualization of your project so you completely uh, understand understand how this works uh, in depth uh, also I, I show you that on this uh, project over here that you can see where you can make some some of those uh, diagram style presentations uh, and how to uh, achieve this look now this is a combination of graphic display options line work tools uh, uh, and uh, of course your uh, uh, of course uh, uh, achieving everything by setting up the line work uh, in a particular way so it appears like this okay so all of this uh, is within this one four hour course now uh, for patreon uh, these courses will be released one hour each week so one hour will be released this week and for the next three weeks I will be releasing one hour uh, each week and then also uh, you will be able to purchase this course as a one-time payment uh, on my other website which will be up really soon within a week or so I hope so stay tuned for that okay so that covers uh, this uh, representation 
presentation or this presentation of my Revit graphics course. Uh, I hope that you're excited as I am to, to see something like this and I hope you find it useful. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today and I'll see you in a couple of days with another Balkan Architect Revit tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.